It's only like, wait a minute. It's only a fringe. It's How many pictures you got to say? They all kind of look pretty much the same. There's not a lot of visual relevant information. Right now, people feel like it's Yeah, now I'm scared. Now I'm scared. We got like 10 pages. Yeah, it's all right. 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 Yeah, Oh, I like the predictor that I was coming to. Nah. We topped you on that one. You know I'm competitive. I don't know. He followed the instructions. Victor followed the instructions. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm not saying anything. Victor, you want a cookie? Uh, Fancy cookies from Manhattan. Oh, sure, I'll take them. Last chocolate chip cookie? That one's chocolate chip. This is, this is like raspberry. Oh, that's, 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 that's the Linda Tart. The other one's a brownie. Can I have a brownie? Yeah. All right. It was good, right? All right. We're going to talk about this multiple choice. Yeah. Why is that? E. In other words, we can be 95% confident. Here, come, come around closer if you want to talk about that. What happened? Come closer. Come closer, got it. Come closer. Come the chair. Do some people not take the quiz yet? No, no, no they take the quiz. I just I can't have someone yell over that. Okay. So. All right. So you, before every order is shipped, you test the sample, finish units, you select a random sample, recently completed order, and you find the sample average breaking strength to be 814 pounds. From the sample. Go ahead. So before you go yeah. any further, yes. I definitely found this in chapter seven. Mm -hmm. Right? After I feel that I'm wrong. <laughs> right? <laughs> but so that. here's here's my argument. Okay. Am I not correct to say that both of these are true? All right. That we can be ninety five percent yeah. confident that all units in the order of having blah, blah, blah between this and this. Because that's what we, a, a, like that step to me right away, and maybe I needed to read it Yeah. More. So, all right, well, then this, is, this is very, this is difficult. Okay. Understandable. Which one is, um, but this answer. I'm only happy that you only took one point, but I'm trying to fight for half a point here. This, <laughs> this answer is incorrect. Because what we're doing when we take the sample and find it to be 814 is we find the sample average breaking strength. All we can determine is the average. And we know that our average, 95% of the time, we're going to get within one standard deviation, or you know, whatever, 1.9, uh, whatever that margin of error gotcha. is. That's what we're going to get for the average. We don't know anything about the whole population. And this is asking about the whole population. All units in the order have the average breaking strength. Mm. Yeah, exactly. This so the be key word was so the key word there was um, all was sample average breaking strength from the question. Yeah, sample average. Sample, right? The average, is just average is really the key word. Average. Well, it's all about the sampling distribution of the sample mean and thinking about that. And so, there they are. yeah, the, the, the key here is that we're just looking for the average, the middle. And we don't know, like, this population could be skewed. Mm -hmm. It could be, you remember how we can take samples from any type of population, skewed, right. bimodal, triangular, mm -hmm. uniform, whatever that is, and we will produce a normal distribution of sample means. And, and that's, that's what this is testing us. We repeat this through you know, a number of times, 95% of the time. This is another way of saying this is 95% of the time we're going to be within this standard error. It's that 95.5% of the time we're going to be within two standard deviations of that sampling distribution. And then the other key point is what I just said is that we don't know anything about the true population. It could be bimodal, it could be skewed. We lose all of that information when we take samples. And we're just looking at the sample mean. Okay. I mean, <laughs> I, I don't put this to torture you all. 
I read this because yes. Oh yeah. No, I don't get it. I'm gonna go read the whole chapter. I I started started it. It. I'm sorry. No, no, don't read the whole chapter. Let me explain. <laughs> <laughs> explain it again. No, it's just it's like <laughs> the sheet. No, he said you found it in the chapter. I did. I found it. Found it. Just here. We found it in the chapter too. So, so the secrets in there. It's in the sauce. It's in the swatch, Carlos. Remember, I remember we did the first class. We talked about uh, there's different income distributions, and one was like skewed to the negatively, skewed positively. We lose that information when we take a sample mean. All we know is what the mean is. That's all we can be 95% confident of. 95%. Of the average, of the average sample mean. Of yes, the same thing. just oh the average. God. And that, that was the whole thing is that we you know we've got a parent I population. To get more excited. <laughs> parent. I have to look at my thing that. All right, it could be. All right, it could be uh, bimodal. All right, it could be uniform. It could be, uh, yeah, triangular. Um, and the and the, the sampling distribution of the sample means SDSM. It sounds kind of like a bad word. But yeah, right. <laughs> that's that's my problem. Well, man, Zach Williams teaches maths. Normally distributed. What happened? What? That's going to be normally distributed. And because it's normally distributed, we know. 95% of the time, we're going to be within two standard deviations of the mean. So any, any population size is going to default to a normal distribution if we have sample sizes of 30 or more. And we graph the frequency of them over and over again. So now, had this question said, we are 95% confident uh, in the population. Yeah, there's, there's no way to make, there's no way to make that be... Um, There's no way to make it exactly. Yeah. It always is a the only way to make D no, the only way to make D correct right. is if we said the average breaking strength is 814 pounds and the standard deviation is 7.5 for the whole population. At that point, we could say. Um, and it wouldn't be, uh, and these numbers, uh, I would have to think more about these numbers. At that point, we could say 68.3% of these units are going to have a breaking strength between X and Y. 95.5% 95 of these units are going to have a standard deviation between this number and this number. If I was told that the Sam, that the need for the whole population, mm -hmm. and I was told the standard deviation for the whole population. If I were given those two numbers, then I could say what the actual breaking strength confidence interval would be. But all I can do with this information is I can make an estimate about what the average is. Right. What do you think, Carlos? Sure. It's just, you're putting me on. <laughs> I mean, I, I kind of get what you're saying. I, I get what you're saying since we don't have the mean. Nine. That's why the E is the only correct nine. answer because it has to go through the process of getting the actual mean by going, by actually um, going through the whole process of finding out what the breaking strength is. With the, with the mean breaking strength. What yeah. the mean breaking strength is. And that's all we know, that's all we're trying to calculate is the mean breaking strength. Yeah, so we can't, but then, we can't be 95% confident because they don't give us any. Yeah, well, another, put another way, once we find our mean breaking strength, mm -hmm. we cannot then go back and say, oh, this is what the real parent population looks like. We, we, we can't say, all right, once we have this, now I can tell you this is bimodal. Now I can tell you this is trying. We can't do that. Right. Well, it's just we don't know. All we know is what the average is. It's the beauty of being able to go down this way. But if we're trying to work backwards and say once we have the average, we, yeah. 
That's it. Okay, once we have the average, that does not mean we can tell you what the distribution of the population looks like. And, and what the distribution of the population is, what this D is asking you to tell you, it's trying to tell you, well, 95%, you know, 95% of the data is between this and this. That's, that's what D is telling you. 95% right. of all the units in the order have a breaking strength of between X and Y. Right. And we can't do that. All we know is the center and the probability that that center is the true center. Well, we don't. We can't. That's my problem. It's my turn. So I'm so in terms of the X. Did you get it? Oh, okay. that's enough of this. Did you get it? It is so, a answering by your book. Um, it tells me that my Z value was correct, but it doesn't give me the answer. All right, guys. Well, good. Thank you so much. Oh. I was like completely thrown off. I'm thinking about the bottom line, total two numbers. Yeah, and this is, I, and I do this. I, I go this extra step. I like doing that, but the book often likes to do like this. It's going. Yeah. It's a little different, but yeah, it's all right. Can't, can't complain. Right. Paying the bills. Oh, all right. That's good. Now but you was important. Um, okay. So yeah, and I haven't encountered it. But if any, if you left it like this on the, on the quiz, I would. Okay, so this is the difference between two uh, population proportions, right? Uh, I'm sorry, Dan. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Right, so just getting back to what the quiz should really answer is going to be the difference between two population proportions, uh, right? Two nine Yes. And then, oh, no, no. Okay, yeah, the difference between two population proportions, yes. Right? And then, there's also going to be the same predictable yeah, which population the population right? Oh, the mercury is split the Oh, yeah, that's the one I've been using. Is that what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. Wait, wait. The, the, the thing you're not mentioning is the population proportion. I'm not mentioning just one, just one population. That was the first thing. Yeah, that was the first thing we did. Just one population. Yeah. So let's let's figure out what the population of Mercy students who work full time is, and let's get a confidence interval. Could we do an example with that? I have no yeah. service in here. Here. Yep. Really? Yes. Okay. Yep. And I have that. Yep. I have that. Yeah. Um, you see, I'm really prepared today. Yeah, so I think this is like the resistors, the technology resistors, 9%. And it's getting a yeah, well, interval for that 9%. I have service on that side. Okay. Um, and these are obviously oh, more difficult, so I love that I have the more difficult. I should be no problem yeah. with finding yeah. the one really population mean, right? This is how I feel like so. uh, One population mean was but I have to class class, class, right? Well, one proportion. Right. Um, no, it's not proportion mean, it's just proportion. Proportion and mean are different. Population proportion. Yes. EP, population proportion. Yeah. Yeah. Population proportion. Yeah. Population 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 Yeah, I have this. Is this is exactly a job or 
Um, I used to in my previous job. I used to do budgets. So we used to do what? So whatever. We didn't do I'm not a wizard. The person who was our director of operations, he does pivotal tables and everything. We would ask him like questions. But I like playing with it. So uh -huh. and I go to the help and I'll say, like, how do I do this? And then follow what they oh, help, help. Yeah. Oh, you can so so yeah. 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 so, yeah. 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 so this one was the first one. No. You don't have to spend them. The first one, which I was in the And I will tell you, she goes, that was my first time finding the middle. And I had so I've used home, formulas right? before, but I yeah, never knew but... that it has statistics okay. in the formula. Right. But then it's a so bio, bio mode. That's why I don't know these calculations. That's why you left with me. You know what it's telling you about it? Because everything is oh you just plug the number. Yeah, you make friends with the the someone who has the phone. So all of these I don't know if somebody tried this in twenty four because it's gonna take six. I was the undergrad, that's how I did it. I was in the back of the head all the good stuff. I can see table, T T and the Lord, that's all that matters, right? That you passed it. That's how I take it. So yes, this is pretty thank you so much. Sorry. But I was like uh, everything's set up already. I prefer to sell it than the Yeah. So like this, yeah. the binomial probability, yeah. everybody's doing like this. Yeah. It's just like click three things, mm -hmm. and all of these got done. Damn, girl. <laughs> Zach, yeah. I'm not going to lie, today's class was so. Alright, maybe I didn't explain it well. I, and I, I mean, thought I the opposite. I was today's better class, today. No, today's class, here, you, you, you were stressed today. I think so. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I was tired today. Right. Mm -hmm. I was today's today class was so the build on. Um, it's exactly the same stuff. You it just is. Added